Hola, estudiantes. Before we continue to learn more about verbs, we need to go back to last year and remember what we learned. Verbs are super important in Spanish. Right here, I have open subject pronouns. Okay, so this is the subject in the sentence. Who is doing the action? Yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Remember that if you're talking to a large group, in Spain, they use vosotros to say you all, and in Central Latin America and South America, they use ustedes for you all. Also, another point to make is that tú is the informal you and usted is the formal you. If you're addressing, let's say, your best friend, you would say tú. If you're addressing a police officer or a president or perhaps a teacher, someone of authority that you're getting to know better, you would use usted. In Spanish, remember that verbs are super important. Remember that a verb is an action. In English, it usually starts with the word to, T-O, to eat, to sleep, to talk, to run. Those are all actions. Actions are verbs. In Spanish, there are three different types of verbs. AR verbs, ER verbs, and IR verbs. Each type of verb has its own set of endings depending on who is doing the action. If I'm doing the action, you, he, she, you formal, we, you all, they, or you all. Notice that the verb table is set up um, in a specific way. So we have on the left hand side, singular. That means only one person is doing the action. On the right hand side, we have plural. That means more than one person is doing the action. So now that we've talked about the subject pronouns, which are in yellow, we need to focus more about how to use these endings and what verbs look like in Spanish. Let's take a look at one of the verbs from our new unit, but using what we learned last year. This is the verb cocinar. As you can see, it's an AR verb. It means to cook. Here you can see that I highlighted in green now what's called the stem of the verb. The stem is what, what comes before the ending. So right before the AR, the ER or the IR, that's what the stem is. The stem helps us change or conjugate the verb depending on who the subject is. Right now, I'm going to write the stem, cosin, in each box. Cosinar is what I like to call a regular verb. It follows the regular pattern and it follows the regular rules for verb conjugation. You can see now that I have cosine in every single box. That's because it's a regular verb, and no matter who is doing the action, the stem is the same. What's different are the endings. So I'm going to bring us back to our ending page. Oops, sorry. Here it is. So here's our endings page. So these are the endings that I need to put on the end of the stem so that it says, I cook, you cook, he or she cooks, etc. So what I did is I took these AR endings and I added them to our verb that we're working with, cocinar. So you can see now that the stem is highlighted in green and the ending is highlighted in blue. Yo cocino, I cook. Tu cocinas. You cook. El cocina. He cooks. Ella cocina. She cooks. Usted cocina. 
you formal cooks. Nosotros cocinamos. We cook. Vosotros cocináis. You all cook. Ellos cocinan. They cook. Ellas cocinan. They cook. Ustedes cocinan. You all cook. Okay, now let's just think about what we just learned. We just learned how to conjugate a verb. I will use that a lot this year. Conjugate. Conjugation. Right here. Basically what that means is how a verb changes form depending on who is doing the action. So let's go through what we just did with verb conjugation. That's what I just taught you how to do. Here are the four steps that I just went through. Step one, you need to decide what kind of verb it is. Is it AR, ER, or IR? This one that we did together is an AR verb. Step two, cut off the ending that is the stem. So this, these last two letters, which actually I think I'm going to change that right now, so forgive me, cut off the last two letters. There we go. Cut off the last two letters. That is the stem. So we cut off those last two letters. Cosine was our stem for this verb. Write the stem in each box of the table. Like I said, cosinar is a regular verb. It follows the regular pattern, so the stem does not change. The stem is the same for all subjects, so that's why we put it in each box. Add the correct endings. So here are our endings. Here's where I got them from. I added them on so that I could say I cook, you cook, etc. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful in reminding you of how verbs work in Spanish. Adios!